Hello my fellow Spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboy with Logan Stone. So we are going to head off today as uh, as I mentioned in the little community post. I'm going to take Logan and we're just we're just going to go on a on a little road trip. First point of call though is that we're going to need to try and find a lug wrench because although the car's doing all right, it's um its tires aren't looking particularly great. So yeah, I don't really know. It's just one's doing badly, the others are fine. I have gone through and i filled up the boot with pretty much all the ammo we have at the base we've got i've also packed pretty much all the magazines as well just in case um we have a lot of rounds especially special 38 which i don't really quite know what goes with it um i have packed pretty much all the guns that i know of um we've got some other ones in the car as well but i just thought i'd pack all the guns just in case i don't even know if we can use these actually i might take these out because i don't think we've got a gun that can use them done some tailoring and i've upgraded all of logan's clothes that he's wearing so he's now full to the brim with leather and even his long johns are leather coated now so um yeah <laughs> although it's very wet uh, that's the, it's the problem with these is he just overheats like instantly with long johns so i'll take them off that's soaked as well he's constantly soaked wearing all this stuff so is we're probably way over the top in terms of actual clothing i've got the de out and I've attached a silencer to it, so um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. We've got the MSR 7, 8, well, 7, 788, 788 rifle. So this actually had a times 8 scope on it, which I didn't realise. So I've um, yeah, I've, I've upgraded that with silencer sling and fibreglass stock, so it's it's really overpowered now. Right, first point of call, actually, before anything else, is we need to go to the petrol pump. Turn on. Big fuel. There we go. Okay, all good. There we go. Okay, we're all gassed up. Let's kick the key out. We'll just have a look quickly, see if there's a lug wrench in here. I don't think there is. I think I've already checked it, but probably worthwhile to check anyway. No, no, nothing. Cool. Eat a tiny bit of peanut butter just to get our hunger. Oh, God. I haven't seen a zombie around here in so long. Let's test out the... Uh... Let's test out a gun. God, look at that. <laughs> that was a... Uh... That was intense. So, right, first of all, we're going to want to, uh, I think, go around the highway side. So I'm going to go for the left, kind of journey down. We're going to have a nice, nice little drive. I think it's going to be, it's going to be nice. Oh god, there's actually quite a few zombies. Yeah, it's weird. I haven't seen any for ages. Oh my god, look at them all. There are loads. I haven't seen this many for ages. Right, driving when it's snowy is really not nice because you can't see really where the road is. You just need to hope that this stretch of where there's no grass or anything is actually the road and not something else right we're not gonna be able to take the risks like we did with the apc we're obviously not going to be very secure in here they zombies can and will break the windows um what's going on there got no idea so um yeah we're gonna want to be careful um i'm not gonna be able to just stay in here and set the horde on fire again because i, I will die i don't think i've ever driven on roads when it's like this in project zomboid i think during winter I, I must just hibernate Wonder how I wonder if this is just like gonna be like this now until spring. God, that's a terrifying prospect. Um, we don't have long till spring, it's uh it's only it's just under a month away, so we can probably cope if necessary. Oh we're actually at the perimeter. Let's have a quick let's have a quick look. We've actually we have never actually seen the perimeter fence. Oh look at it. That's very cool. Ah, okay. I just need to find that sign then where uh, the turning south, I guess. There was one. Where is it? There we go. Right, okay, this must be it. A little bit of lag from the car because um, <laughs> it's a uh, all new area, so it, we are slightly chugging along. It's, it's all fine though. Mm, probably had, should have had a sleep while it was uh, pretty quiet back there, to be honest. At least it makes the zombies really easy to spot on the white road. I suppose that's something. You just can't tell which is the road and which isn't. I, it's so strange. I've got no idea really where I am at this point. Um, I think we must be kind of halfway there towards the uh, military base. Although I think we're going to need to stop off at some point. Because I know the military base is in the middle of nowhere. There's not exactly anywhere safe that I can camp out. Um, I might need to find an offshoot or a little lane or something where I can go spend the night. But you know what? There aren't any zombies in the general area. Just turn off the engine, let's go to sleep. We haven't seen any for a, a while, so I think we're alright. There we go. Okay, all good. Should be fine now. We're probably going to want to take a quick sleep as well before we actually go into the military base. 
um, just because we want to be as prepped and ready and refreshed as need be. It's going to be really hard to try and work out where the uh, the entrance is, to be honest, because it's just a dirt track. But unless some of the snow is cleared, I've got no idea how I'm meant to know. Yeah, it's it's not the easiest to get to, even even during the spring, summer. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Even during the spring, summer, it's not the easiest place to go to. So, um, yeah. But I think this is the final stretch. So, hopefully, touch wood, we come across it. It's just like a little white lane, I think, and then it goes to, like, dirt track. Oh, it's basically impossible to know where I'm going. Oh, hello. Is that it? Or maybe we're not on the final stretch. No, this is main road. Oh, it must be one down. Right. Oh, God, hello. The casual group of zombies there. That's that's fine. You know what? While we're here, let's, um, let's get out our uh, our rifle, because I, I do want to I do want to try this out. Have we got anything loaded? Yeah, we've got we've got a couple of bullets loaded. Just want to see what the range is. Here we are. Right, so we're fine this side. We're fine that side. Oh god, look how far we can go. This is awesome with a times eight scope. Oh, here we go. And this is the final stretch. The road, there we go. That is the final corner, I believe. But now we're just on the lookout for a little lane leading south. Right, come on, where are you? I know we could probably just walk south, like, now, and we'd probably find it. But I don't really want to take that risk. Um, just in case we get lost, and then it's basically impossible to find our car again. Oh, no, that's it. This must be it. All right, here we go. We'll see how far we can get in. I doubt we're going to be able to get that far before the trees take over, but we'll uh, we'll see. This is all dirt track now, so I don't even know if we're going to be able to drive all the way through it. Because the trees do grow on the dirt path, so it's, uh, yeah, like this. So it's uh, it could basically become impossible to uh, drive down at some point. You can kind of see where the grass doesn't grow fully. So that will be the path. Right, okay. I haven't seen any zombies here yet, which is a slight worry. Sure they'll appear soon. There's one right there, just on cue. Right, there's two. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's get out then. I think we've finally had enough. You have a bag on you, which I'm interested in. A quick look, you've got a satchel. Ugh, not that, not that interesting. Right, let's keep going a little bit. I can see the path goes down here. So. Okay, yeah, I think we are actually stuck now, so uh, I think we're going to have to get out. Few, there were a few up here. Have, they, have we lost them? I'll, t I'll take them out anyway, and then I'll take out the ones down south, and then I think we'll try and go to sleep. Anything on you? No. Because we're going to want to sleep, I think, before we actually venture over to the... Uh, to the military base itself. Yeah, looks like there's quite a few here. Right, okay, that's them taken out. Okay, that's uh, that's quickly sleep here. Okay, great. Woke up, panicked. That's uh, that's that's terrific. Right, we just need to keep following this path down then, I guess. Right, I can just about see the dirt track here. Um, but got no idea where we go from here, though. Right, okay, nothing there. We'll try and save bullets as we go, I think. I think it must be this way. Yeah, there's a little bit of track here. Really hard to tell, though. Right, there's a bit of dirt track there. Zombie coming up. Yeah, a few more here by the look of it. Okay, dirt track there must be this way. There's dirt track up there as well, okay. Yeah, it's this way now. Right, okay, we're heading in the right direction now, so it should just be pretty much straight on. And we should eventually get there. The problem is the closer we get, the more zombies we're going to find, as, as we've just taken out a few. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Okay, bit of dirt track. Yeah, okay, further down. This is so unnerving walking through this woods. Okay, dirt track over there. Right, so I'm um I'm back, guys. Basically, getting to the military base is going to be pretty much suicide. It's um 
it as soon as it started to get dark it was clear it was like it's basically impossible to see where the dirt track is i would just get lost and um yeah it, it's not going to be good logan would die <laughs> I've, um, I might have been here once before, but I can't remember what the path is, and I don't really want to cheat and look at the map or anything, so it's probably going to have to be a no on the on the military base, unfortunately. But we'll, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to try and get out of here. There we go. So we'll, we'll head off. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go do what the other plan really was, which is um, exploring the map a bit more, going to all the different towns and things. I think that would be a nice fitting end to the series, really, just exploring the map. I think it would be really fun. Right, lights on, that would help, wouldn't it? There we go. I can actually see what I'm doing now. I think once we're a little bit further along, what I'll do is I'll just sleep in the car. Uh, once, we're, once we're nearing the end of this path, I think. Because there weren't that many zombies up at the top. And then we'll sleep. Um, I'm really gutted because I did want to go to the military base, but I'll have to do it in other series. Um, I do plan on adding like Fort Redstone and stuff into future series, so I think that'll be really fun to do as well. Um, for those of you who wanted me to go to Raven's Creek... I mean, the mod isn't installed for one on on this on this game, but I do plan on adding it to future series. Actually, next series is going to feature Raven's Creek, so uh, yeah, well, you'll you'll basically see that in like two weeks' time anyway. So <laughs> don't worry. Here we go. Right, we're back on the main road. Let's just go to sleep here, just at the just at the uh, entrance of this, and that's um yeah. We'll see you in the morning. Because I also realised we would get tired at some point on our walk, and if it was dark and we arrived at the military base and we're absolutely exhausted it's not going to bode well for fighting hordes of zombies is it so um yeah i think doing that was basic basic suicide if, if logan did decide to go there right so onwards we go i think the next stop probably going to be uh rosewood isn't it because that's fairly nearby it's been a long time since i've been there so um yeah it'd be nice to go and see there okay i think this is the entrance to rosewood so let's go down here have a little scout out oh no it's not What's this? Oh, it's a gas station. Oh, cool. Okay, get out the gun. Let's just wail on these guys. Can we finally raid this place now? That'd be nice. Ooh, M9. Cool. This looks like a nice little base. I mean, it's far away from stuff, but actually, as a gas station base. Doesn't look like it would be too bad. Okay. Just a bathroom. That's, prob that's probably a bathroom as well, I guess. Why was this one locked, then? That's weird. Oh, well. well let's head on to here. Hopefully, we can uh, find some nice loot. Hopefully, one of these doors are unlocked. I doubt it, but we'll see. Oh, it is. Excellent. Take this guy up before he breaks the door. Oh, here we go. Here's lots of nice stuff. Right. Uh, box of jar lids. Don't think we need any more jar lids, to be honest. <laughs> I think we're, we're all good on jar lids. Uh, gas tank's nice. Co uh, cookie's nice. Take the pop. We're looking for a lug wrench. All we really want right now. Lug wrench, lug wrench. The wrench. Lug wrench, there we go. We got one. Excellent. And some cupcakes as well to celebrate. Good. Oh, new poster. Citrus sign. I will take the citrus sign. Uh, crisps, cupcake, orange soda. Right, chips. There we go. Right. And let's head on upstairs. See what's up here. Oh, this is a nice little house. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Yeah, I could see myself having a base like this. It's really... It's just nice in general. Having the... Having the, uh... Little room up here. You have the toilets out there. You could probably, like, kind of... Sledgehammer all of that and turn it into, like, a little outhouse or something. That would be cool. We've got this nice little bathroom with antibiotics. And he's eat, eat a bandage. I'll take them. Oh, awesome. Right, let's fill up our water while we're here. Right, can we just rest up here? Let's do a little sleep. Do a little sleepy sleep. I hear banging. I think someone's come to find us. Yeah, someone's definitely come to try and find us. Oh, another lug wrench. I'm going to take that lug wrench. I don't want to be in the same position again where I don't have... Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> okay, that was a... That was slightly terrifying. Didn't it? I only heard... No, I only heard the one, um, the one bang, so I didn't think there'd be that many. Christ, okay. What's 
down that road then. Oh my god, what's that? Um, I don't know what that is. Chuck some of this in the car and let's go see what um see what that is. It looks yeah I don't know. Is it like a lock up or something? Potentially. There's a few zombies here. We'll try and take them out of the lead pipe. Oh, it's a garage. Oh, cool. We might find stuff we need to fix up the car. Nice. Okay, right. Here we go. Right. Uh, what's this? Standard. No, we want heavy duty, really. Big seat heavy duty. That'll do. Rear door type heavy duty. Uh, sure, yeah, why not? And uh, gas tank standard. Okay, so we've got a door and we've got a seat. I was hoping for wheels, but better than nothing, I guess. Oh, there's other stuff over there. Oh, there's another road. You notice that. Let's grab these two bits. We'll uh, head over onto the car. Actually, hang on. Should we do this afterwards? Think about it. We kind of don't want to fix up right now because it'll probably just get damaged. That's, um... Yeah, let's install all the parts. We'll put the new parts in the boot, I think. Seat weighs 20. Okay, we might have to install the seat first then, I guess. And the good thing about the big seats is that it can actually store more items on it, which is really cool. Front right seat, yeah, 39 now instead of 26. So that's that's amazing. Oh, it's snowing again. Right, so even if I want to, even, even though it's rained, if I want to go back to the military prison, if it just rains, um, if it snows like it is now, then uh, we're screwed again, so... I think it's still the right call not to go to the military base at the moment. I will I will go back there another time, don't worry. But I think for now it's probably um probably the best call not to not to go. Oh come on, really? Come on. Please die, thank you. Bread knife. Oh that's useless. You haven't found any booster packs. I thought yeah, I thought they were a bit more common than they have been. It's um they've been actually quite rare. Anyway, let's, um, let's head in, go upstairs, go to sleep, let's eat some chips, crisps, whatever we want to call them. There we go, and let's uh, head on out. So yeah, this must be the entrance of Rosewood, I think this is the very top of it, and then as, if we go down that left road, we'll uh, we'll find some more stuff. Go have a look in here, see what this is. Ooh, pizza, pizza world? Oh, okay, that's interesting. How many's there? Like seven max? Eight, nine. Ooh, spiffos. Nice. Okay, I count about count about twenty so far. Not actually too bad considering. Okay, I think we're alright. We'll uh take this one out if we can. I know there's probably quite a few more around the corner, but Okay, it looks like they're broken through. Right, let's go look around here, see if we can find anything useful to take. Chips, yeah, sure. Bourbon, yep. Yeah. Excellent. Ooh, pickles. Haven't found pickles in a while. Ooh, chocolate. Pasta? I need some stuff like pasta and things for the boat, I think. Gonna need as much food as possible, really, going forward on that. Ooh, mac and cheese. And chocolate. Rice? Heavy, but it'll do. Right, let's go take this uh, truck outside apart. See, it looks in good nick, so hopefully it's got decent wheels that we can attach to our, our Land Rover. Some of these suspensions are nice. That brake's nice. Muffler's alright, actually. And the windscreen's good. Okay, let's take the windscreen. We'll take these windows as well. There we go. Right, and let's fix up this car. God, the tyres are really bad now. 30%. Christ, okay, I need to... Hopefully one's better than 30%. Uh, tyres, yeah, 57. Let's get the 52 one. There we go. What's the tyre pressure? Probably do a pumping up the tyres as well, to be honest. Right, okay, we've literally got um, one shot left with the, with this DE, so I think that's pretty much pointless now. Uh, what else can we use, then? 45 auto. Sure, why not? Get that out. Need 45. Do you have any more 45s in here? 45s. We've got five. Cool. Right, let's, uh, let's go explore Rosewood. I think that'll be fun. See if come across anything else while we're here. Oh, it looks like a nicer... Uh, Hotel or something? Oh, this is nice. I like that. That's awesome. Oh, someone being ripped to shreds, apparently. That's uh, that's always nice. Okay, this is, this must be like their little gated community. Oh, it's cool. There's actually not 
there's not that many zombies, and there's their high fences all the way around. That's pretty cool. Um, we go explore one just to a, a symbolic thing. Explore this one. Also gives us a chance to exp uh, use this new gun. Yeah, I think we're good now. See if we can get in here. Oh, it's literally it's literally an empty one. For God's sake. Out of all the places we probably could have gone, it ends up that our one's the one that's completely abandoned. Great. Okay. That's that's fine. Break this down. See if there's anything in the garage. A generator. Of course there's a generator. <laughs> we have to find a generator. A uh, small gas tank, heavy duty. Cyan light bulb. That's interesting. Um, anything? Anything at all? No, not really. Okay, well that was a bit of a wasted... Uh, Waste a trip with the gated community. I could hop over the fence, I suppose. Explore one of the other ones. Sure, that's a, a bit of a risk, I guess. At least there's no... It doesn't look like there's any on this bit, so... One there. Two there. Okay, check if there's any around here. A few. One with a duffel bag. There is one in there. One still banging on the doors. How many are in there? Three. Okay, let's uh, remove the broken glass from here. One there. Take them out from behind before they notice me. You have cool hair though, blue mohawk. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. House key. Thank you. Uh, no, nothing else. Great. Let's explore this house, then we'll, uh, we'll go sleep here. Mac and cheese. I'll take that. Um, excuse me. Thank you. God. Rude. <laughs> I think. Right, let's um, head on upstairs. Go to sleep, because we're, we're getting tired. Oh my god, a saxophone. Oh, I have to take that. Right, okay, I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's go to sleep here. And then we'll uh, we'll drive a bit more around Rosewood, and then we'll leave here. Head on over to uh, Muldra, I guess. All right, well, saxophone was a big find. Right, and let's go. Unless there's anything really particularly interesting, I'm not going to loot any more Rosewood. I think I'm just going to drive around and explore a bit. The only thing I might do is uh, hop out if I see anything. There is a boat. <laughs> um, anything like I could loot for the car, really. But apart from that, I'm not overly fast. Ooh, another Land Rover. Nice. Drive around here. Drive down the main street. I'm going to rather since I've been to Rosewood. Quite nice. There's not, there's not many zombies, which is actually... A, it's, it's just nice, really. Nice change of pace compared to West Point and the other place we visited recently. Police station. Could raid the police station. High fence around it as well. Right, let's head on to the police station see if we can get any uh, any nice loot from here. We've got a few on the outside, so I have to be quick about this. Someone in a cell? Interrogation room. Right, just settle the door quickly. Oh god. That was a uh, not really what I was expecting to ask. Oh, CCTV, nice. Okay. Yeah, this this must be it. Here we go. Here we go. Right. What have we got in here then? Some more. Ma we've got some more Magnum rounds. Nice. 
308 rounds. We got some 9mm. Nice, we can actually use up that. We got some shotgun. Got another 308. 45. Nice. Okay, and that sounds like it's my time to leave. Let's, um, let's escape around the back. Okay, and let's go. Got some am more ammo, which is always nice. I think I've called this uh, Rosewood Explored now, to be honest. We've, uh, <laughs> we've gone up and down the main street. We've seen a little bit of it. Oh, look there. Just in time, really. They all got in. Uh, let's just do one quick loop, and I think I'll call it a day. Right, okay, let's, let's head off. I've, I've had enough of Rosewood already. <laughs> oh, this is a... Uh... Oh, okay. Um, I know I shouldn't, but I really want to. <laughs> we've got the, we've got everything. This is what we've wanted our whole time. Got another one. Got paws, paws pinball, and we've got a slurp machine. Like, and it can't get any better than this. Yeah, I'm I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't I don't need these, but. Yeah, I, I can't really go without them. I think I think we're generally just going to have to get a trailer. I didn't want to, but <laughs> now that we found that, I, I don't really have a choice. We've got we've got a pinball machine and a slurpy machine. I, I'm all good. All good now. Um, there was a trailer back at the petrol station, so I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go grab that. Uh, attach the trailer. There we go. We're good. All right. <laughs> we've got a pinball machine and a slurpy machine. <laughs> mission mission successful, really. Right, let's head on to Muldra. Exciting stuff. Slurp, slurp, we're back here again, near where we found the boat. Cool, cool. Right, and that's up there where we found the boat. We need to look for the actual highway to get to Muldra, from what I remember. How are you doing, Barry, by the way? You doing alright? Good stuff. Oh my god. Okay, it's a massive pile up. Right, okay, we're gonna have to go around. Jeez, okay. Didn't expect that, to be honest. Oh, another APC. Oh, interesting. Oh, if you come here, you can get get a lot of um, a lot of metalworking experience. Christ, okay. That might not be a bad shout. Right, dismantle the car wreck. Come on, let's get some metal sheets. Oh, we only got a small one. That's no good. Oh, I want some metal sheets so I can fix up the car. There you go, metal sheet and two. Excellent. Dismantle this one. Three metal sheets. There we go. This is what I want. All of these. We can fix everything up then. And we're good to go. Oh, but frustratingly, we now, we're now out of um, propane, so we can't do any more than that. But we got it fixed up a bit, so that's something. We, we should probably sleep before anything else. And there aren't many zombies around, so... Um, yeah, I think we should be safe to sleep. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it there. It's been quite a long recording, to be honest. It's been going on for a few hours now, so <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd rather just leave it for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what we've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. I just realised I could have gone to the... Uh, the... Knox Prison. Oh, maybe I should do that before next episode because that's that's near Rosewood. Yeah, I kind of have to do that, don't I? Yeah, I'll, I'll double back on myself and I'll go I'll go to the uh, Knox County Prison because I think that would be quite cool to go see. And I don't have the excuse of uh, <laughs> of snow with that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. A massive shout out to my patrons: Seth, Jake, Pet, Rene, Overlord, Serath, Sloth, and Drew. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, so next episode it will be not County Prison first off, then it will be Muldra. We'll head on over to the West Point, up to the mall, and then we'll and past the mall, sorry, but up to the warehouses, and then back down through Ekron, then River, then back up to Riverside, and then I think we'll be good, and we can say that Logan has gone round to pretty much everything. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.